might have cost me a couple of points. Might have left a few, uh, few marks out there. But you were able to uh, persevere. Scoring 146 and 147. How do you feel about your uh, your scoring, your performance today? Well, I owe it all to uh, to the extreme training regimen that I've been on. For, I've been playing one one game of bowling a year for the past 10 years. Excellent. That's prepared you for today. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. It's, Excellent. it's, it's a Thanksgiving tradition that, that we do. And last question: uh, What would you like to say to all of your fans out there that have been following your once a year career? Uh, anything special for the, uh, the kids out there? Oh, man. Uh, thanks for all the uh, support. I really appreciate it. Uh, go Jags! Woo! Somebody's got to dump the water on it. All right, uh, so we're Wait, here with the, the champion, the world champion from Team One, uh, Jody. Uh, so, so tell us, uh, how was it out there today? You know, we showed up to play. Everybody, everybody came to um, play, and and we all fought hard, and we brought it home. And um, I just want to thank um, God and my team. Uh, we showed up today. All right, all right, that's awesome. So. Uh, so who all was on your team today? Uh, so we had here representing Team One. We had Miss Zani. We had David. We had Bill and uh, Mr. Chris Mara. <laughs> we all showed up. All right. And so uh, and so, can you can you talk about any of the uh, highlights or things that that you remember from the match today? You know, um, a highlight for me was when um, Zani was falling for no reason. <laughs> Um, that was really special because I feel like it threw the other team off and it was almost like her strategy. Um, I think another highlight was um, Zach's jump serve um, and then I'd have to say there were a couple serves that were, um, they made it up to the ceiling and I didn't think balls could go that high but it's crazy, they did. Awesome, awesome. So what, uh, what event are you looking forward to the most next after volleyball? Uh, winning the whole Olympics. I think that is an event in and of itself, and yes. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And, and Team One is poised to do that? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Cloud Conquerors. Woo! So we are standing here with the MVP of the winning team tonight. Unfortunately, Team 1 was victorious over Team 2 in indoor soccer. Robert Franz Mathis with an outstanding match. Uh, I believe this is your seventh cap with the uh, Team 1 team. Can you just tell us how you feel about the game tonight? Uh, everybody made a great effort. I mean, who's counting caps? But, uh, well, you know, um, several, several shots snuck by the goalie. You clearly had the uh, defense's number tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about your game plan? Uh, I think we just try to uh, take it easy, distribute the ball, wait for a, you know an opportunity on defense, and then uh, take a shot. Did uh, the fact that the opposing team had zero substitutes aid in your That is a question that only Team 2 would ask. But, you know, I, I, yeah, I suspect fatigue played a role played a role in the game, to be fair. Excellent. Well, uh, again, congratulations on a uh, well-fought victory. Team 1 deserved again, it. Robert Franz Mathis. No, I don't know. Why are you feeling? Are you excited to be here, Rob? Yes, I am. 
Who do you think is going to win? Me. What team are you on? Doesn't matter. I'm still winning. What are you hoping to score today? Zero. All right.